channel Tutorial is a guide to learner. Here, this is Tripana. Hope all of you are doing good. In my previous session, we had already discussed some important MCQs on the chapter Teaching Aptitude according to the previous question paper of the UGC NET. But today, we are going to explain another set of question answer of the same chapter, and this is the first chapter of the UGC NET. Uh, syllabus okay so uh, if you have missed my previous session so please go and check my description box and my first comment where the previous session link is already shared so learner let's start the session and move on the main slide so here we can see the first question okay so the first question is in a classroom a communicators trust level is determined by there are four options uh, so the first option is the use of hyperbole the second option is the change of voice level the third option is the use of ab abstract concepts and the last option that is eye contact so obviously according uh, so among them eye contact option number d is the correct answer so in a classroom setup a communicator's trust level is always determined by eye contact of the communicators uh, and the uh, students okay so the eye contact between uh, communicator and students is one of the main uh, thing uh, uh, main uh, main important uh, thing in the classroom setup and it is uh, and uh, communicators trust level is determined by eye contact okay so option number d is the correct answer so now going to the second question successful communication in the classroom teaching is what do you mean by a successful communication okay so the first option uh, so the, we can see uh, there are four options the first option is the circular uh, communication process uh, second option is a reciprocal circulation uh, communication process third one is directional and the last one that is the influential okay uh, so we can see a uh, reciprocal that is the option number b is the correct answer okay so uh, successful communication in classroom teaching is the reciprocal clear I think this is clear. So now move on to the next uh, slide and going to the next question also. Okay. So, so here we can see the third question. Uh, so for maintaining effective discipline in the class, the teacher, uh, sorry, uh, for uh, maintaining effective discipline in the class, the teacher should. So allow first option, allow students to do what they like. Option number B is deal with the students strictly. Option number C is give the students some problem uh, to solve. And option number D is deal with them politely and firmly. So always the teacher should deal with their students, his or her students always politely and firmly. So option number D is the correct answer. So for maintaining effective discipline in the classroom setup, the teacher should deal with with his or her students politely and firmly okay so now move on to the fourth question a uh, teacher is said to be fluent in asking question if he can ask so first option this is a meaningful question second option is as many questions as possible third one is a maximum number of questions in a fixed time and fourth one is many meaningful questions in a fixed time so there is a no fixed time so that's why meaningful questions so meaningful questions is the most appropriate answer uh, for this particular question so that's why option number a is the correct answer a teacher is said to be fluent in asking question if he can ask always meaningful questions okay so not uh, important uh, on the quantity of the questions okay so uh, we always uh, give more importance on the meaningful quality of the question. Okay, so now move on to the next question. So here we can see a fifth question. So which of the following belongs to a projected aid? We have already know what do you mean by a projected aid and 
aid and the non project aid so that's why uh, if you have missed my uh, that session so please uh, go and check my previous sessions and i think uh, it is very very helpful to uh, everyone so uh, now going to the options so first option this is a uh, blackboard second one is diorama uh, third one is epidioscope and fourth one is globe so which of the following uh, belongs to a project it did obviously epidioscope this is a option number c c is a correct answer so epidioscope is a projected aid epidioscope is an example of the uh, projected aid okay so blackboard diorama and globe uh, are not belongs to the that category okay so now going to the next question which one is the highest order of learning so there are four uh, learning process the first one is chain learning second one is problem solving learning third one is stimulus response learning and fourth one is conditioned reflex learning but the answer is uh, conditioned reflex learning uh, so the option number is d so conditioned reflex learning is the highest order of learning so i think this is clear so now going to the next slide so the question number 7 is uh, by which of the following methods is the true evaluation uh, of the students possible okay so what is the true evaluation process of students so there are four options uh, as usual so first one is evaluation at the end of the course so this is called obviously summative evaluation uh, option number b is evaluation twice in a year third option is continuous evaluation and fourth option is formative evaluation so what is the true evaluation process of the students always continuous evaluation so option number c is the correct answer so c or the option that is continuous evaluation is a correct option for this particular question so by which of the following methods is a true evaluation of students possible that is option number c or the continuous evaluation okay so i think what do you mean by a continuous evaluation and the summative evaluation formative evaluations if we have already discussed that portion so uh, again we can uh, say if you have missed my previous session so please go and check my previous sessions once i think it will help you a lot so now move on to the next question a person uh, can enjoy teaching as a profession when he has control over students option number a option number two is he commands respect from students option number c is uh, he is more qualified than his colleagues and the option number D is it is very close to higher authorities. So, I think uh, a person can enjoy teaching as a profession when he commands respect from students. Okay. So, option number B is the correct answer and I think this is clear because uh, when he has control over students, so he cannot enjoy their uh, teaching his or her teaching process as a profession okay and uh, so that's why option number b is the correct answer so he comments respect from students so that's why he or she can enjoy their teaching process teaching a uh, full uh, teaching process as a profession okay so now going to the next question so at the the next question is at the primary school stage most of the teachers should be women women because they can teach children better than men option number b is uh, they know basic content better than men option number c is women are available on lower salaries and option number d is she can deal with children with love and affection so obviously option number d is the correct answer and that's why at the primary school stage most of the teachers should be women because they can deal with children with love and affection okay so i think this is clear and this is a very 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 easy question and very tricky question also so now move on to the 
Next question. For an efficient and durable learning, the learner should have ability to learn. The second option is requisite level of motivation only. Third option is opportunities to learn only. And the fourth option that is desired level of ability and motivation. So obviously, for an efficient and durable learning, the learner should have desired level of ability and motivation. So option number D is the correct answer for this particular uh, question the first option this is the ability to learn so not only the learn it depends on the motivation also so that's why the correct answer correct option is the learner should have desired level of ability and motivation not only the ability okay so now move on to the next question so here we can see the next question that is instructional aids okay instructional aids are used by the teacher to glorify sorry uh sorry yes glorify the class the second option that is attract the students third option is clarify the concepts and fourth option that is ensure discipline so obviously option number um uh, C is the correct answer because all instructional they uh, teacher can use instructional aids for clarifying the concept. So instructional aids are used by the teacher to clarify the concepts, not the not ensuring the discipline, not attracting the students, not glorify the class. It is used by the teacher instructional aids instructional different types of teaching aids are basically used by the teacher to uh, clarify the concept okay so now move on to the last question for this session so which of the following is not prescribed level of teaching so we have already known there are three level of teaching uh, three kinds of level of teaching first one is memory level of teaching Second one is understanding level of teaching and third one is reflective level of teaching. So differentiation is not the part of the level of teaching. So that's why option number D is the correct answer. So differentiation is not a prescribed level of teaching. So I think this is clear and we have already uh, discussed in detail the level of teaching, Bloom's taxonomy and the different parts of level of teaching. So if you have missed my previous session, so please go and check my description box and my first comment where the previous session link is already shared. So I think it will help you a lot. So now move on to the, okay, so I think, uh, we uh, this is clear to everyone so we are done for the today's session and uh, i hope this session will be very very useful to you if you like my session so do not forget to like share and comment and please do some support and subscribe my channel for getting more useful session i will come again with a new session till then stay tuned thank you to all of you happy learning